Nearly 50% of businesses fail and become extinct within five years of launching. Obviously, there are a lot of reasons why this can happen, but one of the top reasons is that businesses fail to consistently drive leads or sales. Online marketing, and specifically Google Ads, is an essential part of most businesses' marketing mix. And here's the thing, you don't have to make the same mistakes that I have. Today, I'm gonna to review five of the top mistakes that new Google Ads advertisers make. With this information, you'll learn what you can avoid so you can start seeing success faster so that your business not only survives, but thrives in the next five years. If we haven't met yet, my name is Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach, and I've been in digital marketing for over 12 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less and give you the confidence that you can manage your own digital marketing campaigns without hiring an agency. Make sure to grab my free PPC cost-cutting cheat sheet, and let's dive in. Number one, as a new Google Ads advertiser, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and unsure about what to do next. When you log into the Google Ads interface, you'll be greeted with a lot of recommendations and even warnings on things to avoid. It may seem like a good idea to follow Google's recommendations blindly, especially when the platform comes with features like auto-apply recommendations. Unfortunately, this can be a big mistake that negatively impacts your ads performance. Always keep this in the back of your mind. Google generated nearly $280 billion in revenue last year. Yes, they want to help your business succeed, but the recommendations that they provide in the interface don't always align with your best interest. Here's an example of what I mean. I was working with a business that had a remarketing campaign, targeting people that had previously been to their website. When Google's auto-apply recommendations were enabled and then set in, this remarketing campaign actually pivoted to be a prospecting campaign targeting almost anyone and everyone. The results of a previously successful campaign went sideways and the business was left wondering what happened. This is one example of what can happen if you follow Google's recommendations blindly. It's important to take the time to understand the recommendations and how they align with your advertising goals before you make any changes. This way, you can ensure that the recommendations that you apply are actually helpful and not harmful to your campaigns. Number two, a lot of businesses have improper conversion tracking. Setting up conversion tracking in Google Ads is essential. I was recently talking to a business owner who was spending tens of thousands of dollars per month in Google Ads. I asked her what the value of a lead was for her business inside of Google Ads, and she had no idea. If you don't have a goal that you're aiming at in Google Ads, it's impossible to know what success is. Take the time to understand your numbers and set clear goals for your business, both inside and outside of Google Ads. This will help not only the success of your ads, but will also give you valuable insight into your business performance overall. Conversion tracking isn't hard to set up, Shameless video plug, and it's worth it in the long run. Number three, new advertisers need to stop being impulsive and making changes too quickly. It's understandable to want to see results quickly, but with Google Ads campaigns, it's important to be patient. Many of the campaign types in Google Ads use machine learning to optimize your ads and help you get conversions. However, it can take weeks for the system to fully ramp up to its full potential. I recently did a video about the timeline of a Google Ads Performance Max campaign, and it can take days for your assets to be approved, and it can take several weeks for Google to ramp up your campaign for you to start to see conversions. So what does this mean for advertisers? I'm not saying that you should overspend. But if you're constantly tweaking the settings of your campaigns, you could actually be hindering the system's ability to learn and optimize. This ultimately leads to wasted budget and fewer conversions. Trust the process and give it time to ramp up. If you're constantly making changes, you could be resetting the learning process, which will only prolong the time that it takes to start seeing results. Number four, do not skip learning and applying the fundamentals to your Google Ads campaign. This is one of the most crucial factors in determining whether or not your campaign will be successful. For example, once you launch your search campaign, keep an eye on the search terms that are triggering your ads. This data is a gold mine. You can use it to optimize your campaign and drive conversions by focusing on search terms that are performing well. This is often overlooked. In addition, you can also spot search terms that are irrelevant or driving low quality traffic to your website. These terms can be added to your negative keywords list, which will prevent your ads from showing for these particular search terms. 
This is a powerful process that if used correctly can significantly improve the performance of your campaign as it will ensure that your ads are only shown to people who are most likely to be customers. Other fundamentals include ad and asset creation, campaign settings, and as we mentioned before, conversion tracking. Number five, bad landing page experiences can really harm the performance of your Google Ads account. Why? Well, when someone clicks your ad, they expect to be taken to a page that is relevant to what they search for. If they end up on a landing page that is confusing or doesn't clearly provide the information they need, they're likely to hit the back button and continue scrolling through to the next search result. This not only means that you could potentially lose a customer, but it also impacts your ad's performance. If Google sees that people are clicking your ad and then quickly leaving your site, it could have an impact on your quality score, which in turn could increase the cost per click that you pay for every click. On the other hand, having a well-designed landing page that provides a clear and relevant message can improve your user experience and ultimately increase the chances of a conversion. So it's important to keep in mind that the quality of your landing page is just as important as your ad copy and targeting. So in summary, here are the five mistakes that I see new Google Ads advertisers make that you should avoid. Number one, blindly agreeing to all of Google's recommendations inside of Google Ads. Number two, not setting up proper conversion tracking. Number three, getting impulsive and making changes too fast. Number four, ignoring the basics and fundamentals. And number five, having a bad landing page experience. I hope that video was helpful for you. And if you're looking for more money-saving marketing tips, make sure to visit scottredgate.com. And I would be honored if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel to give me a little momentum in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. Take care.